All right, I'm actually working on a much larger video for Coral Island right now involving a challenge run. But whilst filming, I actually discovered a way to get into the abandoned village area you can see from Concerned Ape, I mean Monkey. Now this goes into some spoiler territory, so if you clicked on this video not expecting spoilers, well, that's on you, frankly. Did you not read the damn title? <sighs> Fine, I'll give you a second to click on a different video. Before we get into the forest, I do quickly want to highlight another area that you can already go to, even though it's not in the game yet. You may already know this from watching other Coral Island videos, but you can actually break this giant rock. You're not supposed to, but in the early access version, you seem to be able to dodge a lot of barriers by just gently moving around the edge. With a copper pickaxe, you can break the rock, though it takes some tries. You can get 10 gold ores from this, which is quite the reward, given you can only get gold ores right now by buying them from the blacksmith. The stairways lead to an empty area because it's not released yet, obviously, but I'm excited to see what will become of this area eventually. And now for the actual cool bit. Once you finish the first altar, you unlock a greenhouse and there's an animation that shows some roots being removed. I was fully convinced that this animation was already implemented, but the roots would still be blocking the area as that part was not yet released into the game. Boy, was I surprised when I went to check and I saw all roots had disappeared, unlocking this wonderful area leading to the mines. Every day you can harvest ginseng. Ginseng? Oh, Christ. Ginseng. Are you sure? Ginseng. 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 Okay. I trust you on this one, Google. <laughs> Every day you can harvest ginseng here, and it's actually a great resource to pickle through the mason jar. A base pickled ginseng gives you 90 health, 255 energy, and sells for 190 gold. To compare that to the buck jerky, it has 75 more energy, but restores less health and sells for 45 gold less. And while from the silver quality onwards, the pickled ginseng actually sells for more than the buck jerky, it also has much better stats to give you. It even gives you the plus 100 max energy boost you also get from Jammu or hard eggs. That's why as soon as you unlock the ginseng area, I recommend only selling your bug jerky and consuming your pickled ginseng for deep dives instead. In winter, I could also catch a lot of bird wing butterflies there, which base price is already at 315 gold. Absolutely ridiculous. One more secret. Shout out to a video from Make My Way for Cat who showed this method and instantly made me want to try too. At night, there's a chance for a ghost to appear. It kind of stood there for a bit. I tried attacking it, which did nothing. Eventually, it ran off and dropped two pears and a cocoa bean. We can't get these items any other way right now. This is so dope. Anyway, I thought... That was it. The path leading to the abandoned village obviously is blocked. I couldn't cut down the tree trunk and the stairs aren't even finished yet. All right, that's fine. I'll just focus on other stuff that is actually in the game. Until a few days later, I went, fuck it, and tried again, with success this time, climbing up via the tree. When you get up there, you cross a bridge and enter what I assume is the old village. As you might expect, the area is just a vast wasteland right now. Because, you guessed it, we're not supposed to be here yet. Walking around, I really got the feeling this might be the place where we can search for artifacts or fossil nodes, the latter not being in the game yet. On the Wikipedia, I can see images labeled like fossil node, velociraptor, and then the actual bones like a spine, skull, leg, and so forth. My guess is that the nodes already show which dinosaurs the bones belong to, a velociraptor in this case but it could still be any of these bones. Making that there's still a randomized aspect to it, like when you open geodes and coffers. There's also a massive ledge that I'm assuming will be flattened out a bit later. The devs really don't want us to get up there just yet, no matter how hard we try. The area around Concerned Monkey is obviously the best design so far, as we can actually already see this bit. Apart from some flying rocks and ledges, there's not much to see yet, but I'm really excited to see this footage compared to the final product. If you already unlocked the ginseng area, you might want to try and get up there yourself. It's a bit of a struggle, but I got up there using this tree. But maybe you'll find a different path. Hope you're having a wonderful rest of your day, and if you don't hear from me, the developers may have sent me to gaming jail. Okay, goodbye.
where we can search for artifacts of fossil nudes. Nu nodes. Not nudes. <laughs> fossil nudes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's... Nodes. Nodes. 